in the game. I'm asking you guys. I need your help. I want to get back into the designer space and really pick out some gems. And Uncle Kubo's a man of the people. I like to listen to my audience because a lot of my audience is a lot more educated and really dig into the depths of the perfume world more than I do. I always say I'm not a reviewer. I'm a entertainer who loves to smell good. I love fragrance. I enjoy it. I like how it makes me feel. I love the confidence that it induces in me. And like all other fragrance enthusiasts, you like the reactionary part of it, right? But in the designer space, it's kind of been put to the side as more niche fragrances have been coming out. But I asked the audience, I was like, if you're gonna reel me back into the designer space, let me know, what are the best designer fragrances? I need these in my collection. These are for me to put y'all on to in case y'all fell off the designer space. And when I asked y'all on the community board, y'all really came with a vengeance. And the most surprising part is that most of these fragrances have been mentioned multiple times. Looks like I have a herpy on my lip. Nasty bitch. Let's roll my fucking music so we can check into the 10 best designer fragrances you need in your collection according to you. Blessing morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, c 3 u 3 b to the a Now, truth be told, I'm looking at the list here and I, there's a few of these that I don't have. One of them in particular, maybe two, I don't want. But one of my mantras is, you know, the nose adapts, it changes, just like your taste buds. Your nose palette tends to modify itself with growth and exposure to more fragrances. So I might even just pick these fragrances up, whether I had them before, had no interest in getting them, and one of the houses, ugh but let's get into the list. The first one comes as no surprise as I absolutely love this masterpiece of a fragrance and that's Dior Om Parfum. Boozy, leather, and powdery are the three words to best describe this fragrance. It's an absolutely salivating sex magnet of a fragrance that clearly a ton of people had. There's four people who mentioned this as their like signature best fragrance ever in that community board. And I can't disagree. This is absolutely spectacular. This gets more wear than most of the things in my collection based on the volume. And I have hundreds hundreds of fragrances. There's something about this that's beyond captivating, ultra sexy, and the fact that it's difficult to get makes it that much more intriguing to the audience. So Dior Own Parfum is listed as one of the best designer fragrances ever. Next one. Now this next fragrance was mentioned twice. I don't own this fragrance, so what I started doing is I started doing the Googles on Fragrantica, looked up the notes of this fragrance, and I was like, damn, why did I miss out on this one? And that's Dolce Gabbana The One Luminous Night. So apparently some of the prominent notes on it are like basil, dates, and incense. Supposedly it sparks a lot of Middle Eastern interest in that the one flanker line, which is that Middle Eastern line. I forgot what it's called, but check the bottle. So for Luminous Night to be mentioned a couple of times, now I have a few of the fragrances from that lineup and none of them I would personally consider to be the best designer fragrance. But if two of y'all are telling me, yo, this is an absolute must have in the designer space for everybody to have, maybe you should listen. Next one. This one was mentioned for times and I'm going to strongly disagree based on my previous experience with this fragrance and that's Prada Loam Intense. The signature office fragrance. Something about that fragrance really was interesting upon the opening. I did enjoy the fragrance for a limited time, but my problem with that particular fragrance was the duration throughout the day. There was this what fragrance note in there that really caused me to have a wild head. When I think about you, I touch myself, meaning I rub my temples because you give me a fucking headache. Like almost migraine like, and this wasn't on just one occasion. It was a handful of times when I didn't own the fragrance to a point where I got rid of it and I traded it for, I don't know what, this was years ago, but I was like, damn, I really wanted to like this fragrance, I can absolutely see the powdery sexiness of this scent profile as being the signature office scent, but it didn't play off amazing off my skin. And that's one of the things we gotta keep in mind, right? All these fragrances can be completely sexy to myself, the audience, or any other content creator, but unless you test it on your skin and see how your skin reacts to it as well as your nose, it's all subjective. Now, do they have sexy capabilities, mass appeal, panty dropping? They do. And with four people saying that this shit is the designer fragrance, I mean, think about that. I can't wear it or couldn't wear it because it gave me a searing headache, but now I'm intrigued again and probably will repurchase it to see what the hype is about. So Prada Loam Intense is the best designer fragrance? Next one. Now this one was mentioned three times to a point where I bought myself a bottle and it should be here and I will give it its own dedicated review. And that's Tom Ford Noir Extra. Now the Noir lineups are good. Never found it to be blown away. I don't remember the extreme one, I'm pretty sure I've smelled at least a sample of it. I've never personally owned it, but now I do. And it's on its way here 
here. It should be here in a couple of days. So after you see this video, you will see a dedicated video on that fragrance to see if the hype is real. Now this hasn't been the first community board post that I put up that people mentioned Tom for Noir Extreme, which is what convinced me into purchasing this fragrance for review. So I'm gonna hold off on my opinion on this particular fragrance, but with multiple people, not just this post and previous posts saying that this is the designer fragrance, maybe you guys should sample it at least. Next one. This one comes at no surprise as Tom Ford Oud Wood is spectacular. I agree, this fucking fragrance is outstanding. The rosewood, the oud, the cardamom, that dryness of the vetiver, the mass appeal, the extremely wearable oud, the best entry point into the oud space that is a little bit deceiving because real oud does not smell this freaking good. Real oud smells like shit that stepped on shit that shitted on top of shit. I taste shit. Did you put shit in my lunch? And then queef. Oh. Super addictive, ultra sexy. For me, it caters more cold weather, but beyond addictive. I don't want to remove my nose from this nozzle. It's that good. One of the best Tom Fords in the lineup. I understand why y'all say it's the best designer fragrance ever. Next one. Guada Luna Rosa Black. I gotta admit, blew my doors off when I got it. That exquisite balance of warmth, sexy, vanillic, and smoky with that perfectly kissed amber note makes it a signature ultra sexy date night fragrance. The points where I get jaded is that I get exposed to so much niche fragrances because of the artistry, exclusivity, the price point. It's a whole allure packaging, right? So I tend to deviate myself from the designer space because I'm like, damn, they're not getting very imaginative. It's getting a little bored and redundant. Forgetting that I haven't tried thousands of fragrances and I might be missing out of the gem because of my closed mindedness. So when the audience brings me back or when I start doing actual homework and research and find something like a Prada Luna Rosa Black that the majority of the women in frag come, I'm like, yo, this is the sexiest shit. If I smell this on my man, I'm giving him the leather Cheerio. Oh, I might even invite another chick into the house. I mean, I don't remember any women in frag come saying that, but I'm kind of fantasizing about it. Prada Luna Rosa Black, absolutely stellar signature date night fragrance. Best part is you can walk into the department store and just pick this bitch up. Next one. Yves Saint Laurent Lanouille de Lome, which I have somewhere, I just can't find it. I need to think of a better organization system for my fragrances because it's a shit show of a mess. Lanouille de Lome had a run of about three and a half years of ultra sexiness in its lineup. One of the best and alluring Yves Saint Laurent fragrances in that space, so the hype was 100% deserved. Am I gonna put it in the best designer fragrance category? It depends. If you're going by popularity, it's gotta be up there with the best. Are we going by performance? Are we speaking about longevity and relevancy now? Debatable. But is that shit super fire, ultra sexy, and date night appropriate? Yeah, is it gonna get them wet? Probably. Did you wash your ass though? Possibly, next one. Now in staying in the Dior Ohm space, they're talking about Dior Ohm Intense. Another one I don't have. I'm just so stuck with Dior Ohm Parfum that I don't know if there's a reason for me to have the Intense, but maybe I should. Dior Ohm Intense was mentioned, I believe, once or twice, but that whole Dior Ohm lineup is super solid. They do iris extremely well. When you talk about that lipstick bag scent that can throw people off when they hear like why does a dude want to smell like a lipstick bag bobble trust me when that shit hits your skin like an iv i wasn't gonna say like a heroin needle the shit is david blaine son magical and why wouldn't a woman want to smell a dude that reminds her of her big messy dusty lipstick bag that has a shit show of powder and eyeliner and little strands of eyelash extensions all over the place i mean there's familiarity there right is it the best fragrance ever you said it was next one this joint i don't know bro the whole house for me is a dub but mentioned twice was Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Beau. I think that's the blue one with the little flower or the leaf over his dick. Bro, John, something about that fragrance 100% nauseates the fuck out of me. Then I'll let you imagine what you've been missing. Anything Jean-Paul Gaultier with the dude's torso, I can't do it. I've tried over and over again. I don't know how many different fragrances at department stores without buying them. I bought, I think, two or three. It's so bad for me, but loved by so many. I don't understand, y'all. I don't get it, but my skin is not your skin. And as I always say, don't trust the content creator. Trust your nose. Trust what your skin does with that fragrance and best believe that that's how it's going to translate to the audience. So if you're saying Jean-Paul Le Beau is the best fragrance ever, Okay, next one. And we're going back to the one lineup. Only this one is the legendary, the one EDP. Mentioned twice in the lineup. I gotta agree. In 
incredible. The Oda Parfum also had a stretch of about two to three years of popularity in the YouTube space as people were just like, damn, so much better than the EDT, so much more mature, so much sexier, so much warmer, richer, deeper. It was such an alluring scent profile that captivated all of us, like just grab you by the throat and pull you in slowly because that to a kind of attractiveness that it has. It's the secret book in a fragrance. The law of attraction was absolutely the one EDP. I'll still put that shit up with some of the best fragrances out there, hands down. But is it the best though? That shit is kind of incredible, fam. So these are the 10 fragrances that y'all indicated were the best. But what I realized about this list is that houses were mentioned multiple times. So Dolce Gabbana was mentioned a couple of times. Dior was mentioned a couple of times. Prada was mentioned a couple of times. And Tom Ford was mentioned a couple of time. So do we have a hierarchy in these designer fragrance brands? So is it Prada, Tom Ford, Yves Saint Laurent, and Dior? Like, are these the houses that pull out the strong bangers? I do some homework of that. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all stitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the gang. Smooches. It's time to call back oh. for the rough, rugged, and raw way. Take a day, it's a game.